Here with me now, I have Kanye O'Connell. Kanye is known locally. And Kanye is a man who collects and studies local history as a hobby. Now, um, one of his great interests is place names. And around here, not only are the villages named or the town lands, but nearly every bend in the road and every rock and every stream has a name of its own. And there isn't one of them, but Kanye could tell you a story about it. And he's going to tell us one of those stories now tonight. Kanye, what name are you going to explain to us tonight? I'm going to explain to you about the Bunchil and Rubber and Isak Kirke. And where is that now, Kanye? Isak Kirke, or Isak and Cat Barn, as it was known in the olden times, is situated about 250 yards from Bielagrana and the, the Kilgarvan Road. And how did I get his name? Well, I will give that later on, but I would like to give the geography first, as it's very interesting, of this river known as the Bunchil, because it has a connection with three parishes. Right, can you explain how, how, how the geography of the river? This Bunchil River is only a little stream starting. It rises in the parish of Ballyvorna and flows downstream about a half a mile and the boundary between the parishes of Evil Airy and Kielnamartra. It flows further downstream for about two and a half miles and joins the Lee at Ballingary village. Along that stream there's a high cascade no, or it's about 14 feet high and there was a battle staged here for the fight boys around the start of the 18th century, roughly about 1810, as far as we can trace. The fight boys was the men who fought for Ireland at the time. And it seems that the British forces <coughs> were in a route from Ballingary to Ballyvoon. But the fight boys invaded them or ambushed them at this place, which is commonly known as Isach on Catbourne. The leader of the British forces on that day was a man by the name of Brickell or Bochler. A name I can't explain very well in English because it's kind of English before the full light. But he had a, this horse, a very famous war horse. He could jump, he could run, or, and he was also a great battle horse. And he was known as the Kark Born. On the day of this invasion, it seemed that the British couldn't win because the Irish forces were numbered at about five to one. But this General Brickelho Bochler was a man of great courage and a great soldier, and he couldn't expect or look for defeat. So he called his boys and he said, Come, boys. We're not yet defeated. 
The cat born what never failed, and he won't fail today. He raced about 16 or 17 yards in towards <coughs> this waterfall. And it being 14 feet high, it would be almost possible that any horse could scale it. But he thought with a speed that he could induce the horse to scale this cascade. Incidentally, what happened was that a horse hit the rock with his foremost legs and fell back head over tail into a very rough terrain. The jockey, which as I have already mentioned, as Bikolo Bokolo, came underneath the horse. Therefore the horse broke his neck and he also killed the rider. That meant a win for the Irish forces at what was known then as Isach on Carbon on that day. And uh, can you, you stress there how um, Bricklaw Bokla tried to make his horse jump over the rock? Now what advantage would it have been for him if the horse had gone over the rock? Well, if the horse had gone over the rock, he would be over the fight boys. And he was well armed with powder, with guns and powder. As you may be aware, as you may, as you may have heard, the white boys had nothing except a few swords, crappy pikes, knives, and some of them had only holly sticks. Well, if he got the guns, if he got his gun on the soldiers, uh, on the white boys, he'd have no bother in clearing a track for the remainder of his comrades and they could continue on their journey. You spoke to you about the white boys. What kind of a role did they play in Irish history? The white boys was a secret organisation. They were bound by oath, and their main business was to look after evictions, which was carried out uh, on tenants for not paying their rack rents and also for not paying their land annuities, which of course was at a very high stage at the time. Oh, rack rents, honey, could you explain them to us? Rack rents, well, rack rents is a very English language to be beyond me, but I must borrow a word from the Irish language to explain it. To be otherwise known as Dahu, which would be a tent. That meant that every farmer, big and small, should give a tenth of his income for the upkeep of the Protestant minister. And indeed, that was fairly hard at the time because money was scarce as well as the landlord's rent to pay the rack rents. Thank you very much, Connie. That was very interesting. I give Connie a big clap now. Right, now that interesting information from Connie Al, we're back to the dancing again with a jig set.
个下风车，下风，一个一个下风车。That was very good. Now, I think we need to be somewhere else after that. And Mara Hall is going to sing a song for us. But 
Thank you. 
She's now from Modern Eats of Joy, and she'll sing Chef Farm of Water. Red is the road that 
Zij de beste mijn oog voorran. Voor een dozen lang hier zijn we in zetting. Zingen met een ging twee. Very often contrary. And pulling out every time. Sleeping in very cold places. And often out late until dawn. So does lately I have heard and comparing myself and the terror bond. A pair of rollicking sportsers nearly both one side. Very fond of the porter, so does bulging out both our eyes. All the people they know we are toppers From drinking all night until dawn But we will get women by jobbers Myself and the tailor bond So this often I drank with this tailor At market and fairy time And on Sunday there was not a feather. We thought that our game was fine. He used to be acting all careful and seeing some gear or con. The landlady looking for payment and cursing the tailor bond. So there was not a thump in this nation, ugly, fair, or fine. People are very low station, but are pulling out every time. We drank with Johnny Mantelder and every choir crump on. You think when you look at their features, They were cousins of Taylor Bond. <laughs> Now we stuck in a comical bargain, myself and Dan Bond last June, to a beautiful spot in Killarney, where we will be marching soon. Till there we'll be flung the garden and turning out strikes so of Dan. And we'll drive us free in Kilgarvin, myself and the tailor bond. Now I put in for Malfoy, and everyone knows she's fine. This afternoon, mother, she told me that her Molly would sure be mine. And if there's a son or a daughter, I'll fight in my favor, son. To be easily known who's the father, myself for the tailor bond. <laughs> Now when I'm in my farm, myself and my charming wife, We need be in dread of the star that's crushing us all our lives. The tailor and Jackie will go poaching and won't come home until dawn. The meat and the fish will be roasting for myself and the tailor bond. Sure, by having she was a good tailor, For cutting and making fries, making clothes for the neighbors, and telling them their first lies. But he couldn't out remedy ready, for he was a queer crompon. But I have nothing to add to his failure, but good luck to the tailor bond. <laughs> Thank you very much, John. He tells me that's about four verses out of that. <laughs> <laughs> And now, next for a song, we'll go to John Lehman. 
For fame and for fortune, I wander the earth, but now I return to the land of my birth. I brought back my treasures, but only to find the less than a pleasure I first left behind. For these are my mountains, and this is my glen. The days of my childhood, I'll see them again. No land ever pays me, no far did I roam. For these are my mountains, and I'm going home. The stream by the road sings, and my going by, the Lord overhead wings a welcoming cry. The lake where the trout lies, once more I will see, it's there that my heart lies, it's there I must be. For these are my mountains, and this is my glen. The days of my childhood, I'll see them again. No land ever fails me, no far did I roam. For these are my mountains, and I'm going home. Kind faces will meet me. And welcome me in, you know how they greet you back home again. This night round the fireside, those songs will be sung. The last I'll be hearing, my own mother's tongue. For these are my mountains, and this is my glen. The days of my childhood, I'll see them again. No land ever fails me, no far did I roam. For these are my mountains, and I'm going home. Right now, sir. And now we have Tom the camera back to front. Behind us, we have Julian McCaffrey. And in front of us, change your car, and with the cameraman himself, then Joe Kellogg. And then Joe's going to play for a military two step. Let's see you do it.
Well, then you said the other way, something that tonight was never done before. We well, put it in front of the camera. But then, Joe, you were never in Renry with the camera before. <laughs> now, we have a very special treat for you. The man of the house, our host for the evening, Sean Vaughan, is going to sing us a song. In the sweet county Limerick, one cold winter's night, said the tall fire was burning when I first saw the light. And the drunken old midwife went tipsy with joy, as she danced on the floor with her slip of a boy, singing by in a moist nagaona, and the juice of the barley for me. Now when I was a girl soon of six years or more, with me books and me pencil to school I did go, to a dusty old schoolhouse without any door. So to there lay the master blind drunk on the floor, singing by in a moist nagona, and the juice of the barley for me. Now the learning I wasn't such a genius, I'm thinking, that I soon led a master entirely at drinking. Not a wake of